Hey guys, what's up? I'm Double X here for another Double X Reactions, and we're continuing on my fixing of the hiatus of me missing out on Yu Gi Oh! The Abridged series. And we're going to episode 65 Puzzled Shipping. I have an, a, a bit of an idea of how this is going to go, especially since um, that little girl who used to have a teddy bear is going to be in this episode, and now she just wears glasses. I can't remember her name, that, but don't blame me on that. I mean, she was in just one episode until this arc comes up. Then she's in a lot of episodes, and then she's even in season five. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, let us watch, shall we? This show is so infrequent that the last new episode came out when I was still Pharaoh. <laughs> hey, you, look what we found. They followed us home. Can we keep them? Guys, you can't own people. No matter what the voice in my head tells me. Please, 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 that's Tristan work. Yay! Responsibility! You dumbasses. <laughs> we have, like, important information about, like, all the stuff that's happening and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> you guys and important don't usually go together. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday. Wavell was being a butt munch. And then there was, like, this dude. <laughs> and then, like, some stuff happened. Oh, and I totally scored. Yeah, <laughs> with a chick. Shut up, Weevil. <laughs> Only I scored. Did this person happen to mention anything about a seal? Perhaps one Arakalcos theme. Oh, the chick? Yeah, she said lots of stuff. <laughs> with her boobs. Yeah, <laughs> greetings. I am boobies. <laughs> Pleasure to meet ya. Are we sure these guys ever had souls in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. Loving that or a calcos decal. You know, ever since the city was attacked by hordes of monsters, it's been real peaceful. Yeah, what with all the fear of death? We should have giant monster attacks more often. There you are. I missed you so much. Uh, sorry, random fangirl, but you must have me mistaken for Bakora. He's the one who enjoys getting assaulted. Don't you recognize me? Oh, so you're someone from my past that I haven't seen in a really, really long time? Yep. Are you my parents? Nah, Yogi, it's just that crazy broad Rebecca from season one. Huh. Rebecca! She seems different somehow. Oh, right, she's wearing glasses. That must be what it is. You never accepted my friend request on Facebook. Oh, well, I rarely even use the... Accept my friend request. Otherwise, we can't be friends IRL. Oh, right, because that's how that works. First Rex and Wavel, now this chick. Who are we going to bump into next, huh? Freaking Johnny Steps? How do you know who that is? Let's go to the museum. My grandfather has made some amazing discoveries. Plus, we can discuss our budding relationship on the way. Sure, my good pal Taya would be very supportive of that. <laughs> if there's one thing she likes, it's when people get real friendly with each other. <laughs> Stop using the concept of friendship! Yugi, I have learned something truly extraordinary. Tell us, oh wise one. 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians would seal monsters into giant tablets and force them to do their bidding in a kind of uh, uh, competitive combat. Right. That's... Yeah, we know. These were the Shadow Games, and they almost threatened to destroy the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But a great pharaoh was able to banish the darkness and save us all. Oh my god, this is an eye-opening discovery. <laughs> you must have spent years researching it. Even though you can find that exact same information on the back of any given Yu-Gi-Oh! DVD. <laughs> There's more. I recently stumbled upon the lost city of Atlantis. I read a great book about that once. Uh, how does that in any way add to the conversation? Okay, I admit it, I never read the book. In Atlantis, I found many carvings on the walls that looked exactly like dual monsters. Do you know what this means? This discovery could completely rewrite history. No, it would just mean there would be even more history. Nothing would have to be rewritten. It would just be longer. History itself is in peril. I read a great book about history once. If my theory is correct, there is a parallel world connected to ours inhabited by dual monsters. And all throughout history, people have been able to release them into our dimension. Professor Hawkins, did you by any chance get your archaeology degree from the University of Phoenix? Uh, yes, I... Online. 
I fail to see how that happened. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> what? By the way, I took this shiny green stone from the guy I killed. I read a great book about killing once. Remarkable. I shall have to study this. I read a great book about... Analysis complete. It's definitely a shiny green stone. This guy's dumber than me. <laughs> Oh, my penis! <coughs> Serves you right for being a boy who isn't Yugi! Hey, Yugi, you gonna hit that? Mmm, no. Shame. Damn shame. Welcome back, my fellow all cockamaloses! Play step forward and tell me of your quest. We weren't able to get the Pharaoh's soul, but we did get our hands on his god cards. What is man? With these here god cards, nothing can stop me from realizing my plan of terrorizing the entire world. Watch as I release the great Leviathan. You're going to release a violin? No, man, a Leviathan! You're going into retirement! <laughs> But you're so young! A big monster. Oh. Oh. Your deck can't save you now, fellow! <laughs> oh no, I'm having that nightmare again where Pegasus' protege blames me for his master's death and kidnaps Taya. Also something something wicked god cards. And Bandit Keith is a zombie! Yugi, we need your help! Did you hear that, Yami? A girl! Indeed! We must hide the comic books and action figures! Do the law! Do the law! Do the law! I think that Kariba wants us to follow him. I don't know. The last time I was lured in by some hairy balls, it was not a pleasant experience. Oh, who am I kidding? It was very pleasurable. Yugi, balls. Ah, uh, yeah. A door! Stand back, Yugi! Let a pro handle this. King of doors, bitch! This place looks like it was designed by Frank Miller. Where dem hoes at? Follow me, Pharaoh! I'll explain everything! Dare dem hoes at? I had no idea there was a portal to Middle Earth in my soul room. <laughs> this isn't Middle Earth, Yami. Just because you see a castle, it doesn't immediately suggest- Then what about that over there? That's two points for Middle Earth, zero for Yugi. Hey, I want a point! <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, your ball's bigger than mine! I resent that! <laughs> and ship confirmed. I'm grateful to see both of you here. Looking good, Gandalf. Been hitting that thigh master? Uh... Three points. Both of our worlds are connected. Kind of like the movie Tomorrowland, only it's not a pile of shit. We have a symbiotic relationship with your universe. But unfortunately, a gateway has been forced open between our worlds and unleashed a terrible beast. Voldemort, right? It's not even... <laughs> Never mind. Four points. These three dragons saved us from the beast 10,000 years ago. But then they turned to crystal, sleeping for several millennia. You know who'd like it here? Kaiba. What with all the dragons and stuff? Let's not tell him about it. Legend states that three brave heroes will succeed in waking the dragons. Hey, that's the title of this season. <laughs> Bye now. I believe that you, Pharaoh, are one of those three warriors. Now retrieve the sword and release the dragon to Maius. Let's do it, Yugi. I've been so patient. Uh, 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 really? Really tight in there. Maybe if we have some uh, manner of lubricant... Uh, oh, try smacking it! I hear that helps! I was not prepared to watch this happen today. At last! The dragon Tobias is freed from his prison! And now he is bonded with you, Pharaoh! His power to do with as you wish! Speaking of power, Pot of Greed, what does it do? Pharaoh, you know what Pot of Greed does. Everyone knows. Quiet, Yugi! We must learn of their culture. What's going on out here? History is being rewritten as we speak! Okay, so you're a lost cause. It's not looking good, Yug. If that thing's as dangerous as it looks, we may as well close the book on our lives. I read a great book about books once! This is the best damn Cirque du Soleil show I've ever seen! <laughs> Attack damn Leviathan! We've no traces! We cure havoc, man! Yugi! No! If even one of you makes a Sharknado reference, I will wrench you so hard. Wait, this card! It's the legendary dragon! Try this exercise, you sour looking motherfucker! Five points! What the hell, Leviathan? We had an agreement! You agreed to not be a little bitch, but now you're being a little bitch! Ah, <laughs> oh, God, oh, worst game of my life. 
Thanks to you, Pharaoh, evil has been thwarted, but the great beast is not done yet. The legend states he will return at the end of the season, where you will be powerful enough to stop him. Okay, since we did your dirty work, can we ask another question about the spirit world? Very well. Okay, so here's what confuses me what about- What does Potter Breed do? Pharaoh, I'm trying to sleep. Six points. <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh is. Ah, uh, that was great. Ah, uh, man, these episodes. They're just fantastic. Uh, I wish they would come a little bit more frequently. You know, maybe if there was some extra help from, say, Team Four Star, since he is putting them on the Team Four Star site to uh, protect from copyright stuff and all that. But yeah, I still uh, laugh my ass off. And also, Little Karibo, you're not likely watching this, but if you are, points to you for actually adding some more female voice actors as opposed to just, you know, mimicking as their own, like Taya. Yeah, they actually, uh, those voice actresses, very nice. Very nice and fluent, and very professional, too. So, anyways, I'm Double X, and I will see you next time.